level six gonna get fire staged um, in the area of Marina and East Joshua. Foxtrot here too. Are we needing fire or medic? Maybe both. Just medic. Ten four ALS fifty five responding. Level 6 to ALS, we're going to have one unconscious female inside a gray sedan at this time. I'm trying to see if I can get her out. Ten four is scene code 4. Sort of. Hey, Nikki, we might need the spreaders to uh, get the uh, get leg stuck uh, or unstuck from uh, the steering column. I can't English anymore. <clears throat> okay. coming over the hill and then I was on the side of the road because she hit me earlier and then uh, uh, she ran me into here. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I, I was just responding to this. I don't know what happened. Do you have a C-collar in your bag there? You know I did. I have this, uh, did you want to use a spread here while I put the C car on her? Right. Stay put, I'm gonna make sure you don't have any guns or anything on here real quick, okay? Um, yeah, I can, I can do that. I'd have to get, uh, some of my gear on, but you should have some extra gear in the International, I think. Uh, just put in those dressings on her next, she's got some abrasions there. Alright. Hey. 
Alright. I don't I don't feel anything weird down there, so uh I'll just have the medics look at you could be your upper neck. Okay. I know I'm misspelling collar. I, I just know I am. Alright, um, I put some dressing on her, uh, on her neck and apply the C collar. Um, 22 then. Oh, my helmet. <laughs> my special helmet, no! Um, I don't know what's, like, what happened here, but I can tell you that this guy that's driving the dune buggy, um, was driving recklessly. He actually blew a stop sign on Panorama, so I'm not really sure, like, what happened here, but figured you should know. I was originally gonna pull, like, I was originally pulling the guy over for, uh, jumping the railroad tracks, and then he said he has no license, registration, or insurance. So I was going to have him step out of the vehicle, and then this chick here decided she was going to uh, commit hit and run. So I'm like, yeah, this guy is a little less important right now. Okay. And then this entire thing. What the fuck? Uh, can you do me a favor and shock that vehicle? And what? Uh, shock the vehicles. I got it. Can we check, check this vehicle at least? So sure you're roll. feeling hurt, man? What was that? What? Why'd you just scoot forward like that? Put my foot off the brake? Why don't you put it in park? You want to reach that far? Wow. Alright, we'll turn it off. How about that? Uh, I don't want to reach that far either. All right. There you go. You don't know what to do, always just grab the thing that's got 54,000 pounds of force behind it. That works. Yeah, well, that's, uh, the important thing is getting her free and out of here. I love my 54,000 pounds of force. It works good. Is that, a, is that a pickup line you use on your girlfriends? I mean, I can, I can start using that pickup line. Like, hey, baby, you want to feel 54,000 pounds of force? <laughs> Don't give me ideas.
seem to be having some issues getting her out here. Need some help, Mr. Uh, Mr. 54,000 pounds of force? Um, I might get it eventually, just... It's all about the angle. Is that also what you, uh, what you use on your girlfriends? It's all about the angle? Sometimes. Holy fucking shit, I figured it out. So many, so many things. I, I, I have to stop. Oh, I'm laughing my ass off on the inside right now. Alright, let's see if you can figure out how to put a girl on the ground. There you go. I'd first have to figure out how to lay a girl down. Got him. Wait. Yeah, Nine. so, um... Uh, if, only, if only you would use number two, that would be much better. Sometimes you gotta go ass end up. Alright, let's uh, just carefully turn her onto her back. Yeah, I'm not good at that either. Alright. Um, do you want to deal with the, uh, legs that are, uh, McFucked? Alright, uh, just check on her vitals, see how she's doing. Okay. That's uh, that's a low BP and a high heart rate. Holy fuck me in my ass. Um, we need to control that bleeding now. If there is, I'm sure there's a bunch of bleeding around those thumbs. I see. Yeah, I, I, it looks like there's a fracture. I'm trying to see how if there's any bleeding. What are your readings? Um, I was getting a blood pressure of 80 over 40, heart rate of 155, respiration is 28, and O2 is at 93. Oh yeah, here's here's the bone. I have ex yeah. All right, I need some. I need some. This little gauze. And like I said, it's Mick fucked. Um, big trauma occlusive dressing.
Hey, can you can you get a tourniquet and just uh, apply it to the upper part of her leg for me while I, while I do this? Slide it on. I'm gonna slide it from the bottom of the, from like the foot on the. I got it to slow down. Once you apply the tourniquet, that should be a, that should be enough to completely stop it. I'm just continue applying more gauze here. So can you land uh, oxygen tank in this big ass bag of yours? Um, no, not in this bag. I'll be right. Come on. Gauge row two is dropping drastically. It's down to eighty-two percent. Well, shit balls. Alright, looks bleeding is finally under control. Alright, while you're doing that, I'm gonna get an IV in there. Nice. 
pulse oximeter is not giving a good reading on a uh, heart rate. Um, I know I Yeah, I do have some here in my bag. Well, I haven't. I have an EpiPen, but once I get the uh, once I get this IV in, we can probably just direct through the uh, the IV. Yeah, just use the car. Yeah, use the cardiac EpiPen. The one to ten thousand. Okay. Um. What the fuck? Do I have a faulty OPA? Do you do you carry faulty OPAs in your bag? Oh fuck me. Um no. Oh shit. Never mind. All right, I'm just gonna do compressions. You want to get the Lucas or something? And that Epi would be nice. Alright, here's the Lucas. She has some terrible head trauma. Did you say head trauma? Oh yeah, she's got blood coming out of the ear, that's really bad. Um, if you want to slide the Lucas on and get that attached to her so I can stop compressions and do other things. Did you say she has blood coming out of her, of her head? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well we can't do compressions if she's bleeding. That's bleeding I cannot fix. That's the only problem. Get her to a hospital. I mean, I, I can apply to Lucas, but I... From my training, like, if I... It, it will just basically make the blood come out. At least that's what I was taught. Yeah, I know, but right now we just gotta kinda get that, get the epi in, and I can uh, apply some dressings over the years just to try to stop it, but I don't know where the bleeding is exactly coming from. It can be deep internal that I really can't do much about unless we uh, uh, administer on some TXA. Okay, well, I have the epi here. Ah, oh, that doesn't look good. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, that's, uh, dead, that's the most spinal fluid. We need to get her to Sandy Shores, like, now. Although, I'm, fuck, she should really go to Pillbox. Yeah, life you can flight. take her to, you can, you can take her to Pillbox. Do we need a life flight? I am. I do have life flight on standby. Uh, let's let's get it here because we need to get her to there like five minutes ago. All right. Um, you mean yesterday? 
Gage, you take over here. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the helicopter. Okay, I'm going to uh, go ahead and clear the road. If there's any equipment needed from the ambulance, take it now before I leave. Hop in. I'll give you a ride. We'll keep the ambulance here so you can use it then. Yeah, take me Sandy. No, the, the, the Sandy Shores airfield. And just take me straight to the hangar, I'll, I'll grab my uniform, my, my flight suit. Gotcha. Foxtrot 2 taking off as uh, light flight from Sandy Shores. On to the stretch. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get her there. All right. All right, I, I need you to clear.
Okay, I'm done fucking up for the day. Are you sure? Maybe. So, Gage. So, Nikki. I was having a little chat with Katie this morning. Um, Officer Katie. Okay. So, um, what's this I hear about a girl? Which girl? There's many girls on this planet. Well, the one that apparently is flirting with you. Oh, that one. Um... Honestly, I don't know. What do you mean you don't it know? It was a... Well, it was... It started with just a nice girl I helped on a scene. Um, as medical. Uh, she was... immediate assistance on Joshua Road on the 68 approach. We've got a Casper Kane with a warrant here. He's got a grenade in his hand talking to me. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Really? I'm gonna put that guy down. I will, I'll, I'll have a talk with you about this later, so just wanna land me at the airfield and I will... I think my, I think my car was moved into the hangar there. Alright, there you go. I'll uh, refuel her in case we need her again. Thank you. I'm just gonna RP that there's like a fuel line here because I mean we don't have we don't have like a fuel truck or anything like that, so five six other unit worry. You, uh, you good there, sir? Do you, uh, you need any help? Just kind of laying on your back here and... You having a heat stroke? You even uh, aware of my presence? Just get fucked. Jesus. What the hell? I don't want to hurt you. Uh, Don't fuck with me.
God damn it. What do you want, Casper? You're gonna be one of my victims someday. Not today, not tomorrow, but soon. I'm coming. Assuming I can continue to get away with my debauchery against this humble state of San Andreas that I love so much. We're gonna stop you someday. Just had two officers had me at gunpoint and let me leave. Gotta love it. But anyway, make sure you don't hurt yourself in the time being, because there might be somebody who will need your help tomorrow. She's in a real bad situation right now. But one of these days, Nikki, one of these days, I will take you, and I will have you experience this game for yourself. Not if we stop you first. Have a great day. You won't. You won't know we're there. You won't, but you're welcome to try. I will hurt you, but only if needed. I've gone against tougher people than you. You don't intimidate me. Yes, I do. I absolutely do. I terrify you. I can feel it. I can sense it. I can see it. I can hear it. No, you anger me. Telling yourself. Ooh, anger. Elaborate. You anger me because you keep going against people who can't defend themselves. Mm. Isn't that what makes fun, Nikki? Only in your sick, twisted mind. People that have so little or so much to lose and don't have the power to provide for themselves. I take them, I free them, and I allow them to establish hope. In a process, in a system, in a way of life. Developing trust. It's beautiful. How are you creating hope and trust with what you do? Finding people that are so down, so merciful, so weak, cowardice. And I present them with an opportunity of life and death to which they can fully understand and recognize through those means they have hope you're sick and twisted you need to be stopped and I'm going to make sure that it happens one way or another thank you Nikki always a good talk and hey stay safe, healthy and away from harm at least until I come bye <laughs> hey, Les 55 I just had an encounter with Casper Kane at the Panorama gas station. He's currently leaving, heading towards the Yellow Jack on uh, Panorama. That was like I'm going. What's with the body? Um, he assaulted me, so I defended myself. That dead body on the ground next to me? Oh, he's not dead, he's unconscious. You got this? With the body? Yeah, I was about to deal with it when the Casper Kane showed up, so... Alright, I'm gonna go find Casper. Alright. Level 3, you want to attach?
Alright, you piece of shit. First of all, what kind of person works on... Like, you were laying on your stupid back with that stupid... Like, what is that? A parachute? I mean, there wasn't even a car there. Like, what the fuck? And all I was... I was checking on you. And you had to get all weird about it and assault me. Like, you threw the first punch, man. I defended myself. So I don't feel bad. Tonight. I don't feel bad at all. Yeah, you know what? You're lucky that I don't press charges against you, you bastard. Don't be a fucking baby. You'll be fine. Can't even take a fucking punch. Okay, okay, granted. I did kick you and you did go flying, but that's not my problem. That was like the yellow check. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine. I was talking to this guy because he was laying on the ground, like, doing nothing, so I asked him if he was okay. He got up, pushed me, then proceeded to punch me, and I drop-kicked the fucker. Oh, good for you. Yeah, then Casper Kane rolled up, and uh, we had a nice conversation before he fucked off. Is that what they're looking for now, is Casper Kane? He took off towards the Yellow Jack, you said? Yeah. All right, and he was on his motorcycle? Yeah, his black motorcycle. All right, I'll keep an eye out, thanks. All right, Do you no need problem. a hand here, or you got this? No, he's just a fucking baby. He'll be fine. <laughs> All right, that sounds good. Alright, there you go. There's a band in for your boo-boo. Now, just run along home. Next time you do this, someone. If you try this on me again, I'm pressing fucking charges. Snore freeway just off the southbound uh, entrance from 68. It's gonna be on a black four-door SUV. Occupied time is one. If I can get one additional my way. Sear 12, I'll route that way. Fucking people. Hello? Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, I was right. Yes, I was I was wondering if it's um is, is it normal to hear voices? Um and you'll need to elaborate what are the circumstances. Like it's just like in my head and it's just never never ending telling me things to do. I thought it was just my PTSD from the war, but it just keeps getting worse. So you're saying these voices that you're hearing, they're not like your own yourself thinking about things? You're saying you, you have like something else telling you to do things? Yes. Exactly. That's exactly it. Okay. And what are they telling you to do? It doesn't matter. Thank you. Okay. That that wasn't weird at all. Okay. 
Why the fuck is everybody turning around here? I, I don't know. Not worth my time. Probably just some... Some kid. Yeah, I... So, what was with the blonde? She came up to me and asked me if it was normal for her to hear voices in her head that were telling her to do things. Um... Psych evaluation, question mark? Yeah... If I get her stopped and she's under the age of 18, I'm gonna have you come and bring her to Sandy Shores Medical. Yeah. I, I, I just asked her a few questions, like, I wanted to make sure that what she was saying wasn't herself, like her own mind thinking stuff. She said, no, there are voices in her head telling her to do things. When I asked her, what are they telling her to do? She said, never mind, that's all I needed to know. I don't know... I didn't get time to tell her to say that you should probably go talk to someone about this. Um, so you, I'm... You want me to go find her and pull her over? Well... I mean, it's technically not against the law as long as she's not hurting people. No, it's not, but it kind of seems like she might be in a little distress of her own. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure if she took off because she saw you coming, or or what? Because I didn't really get time to say much to her. I'm not that scared, I just came here for ice cream. We have ice cream? Maybe. Where are you hiding the ice cream? Somewhere. You better talk now, Gage. I'm the one with the gun on my hip right now. You think that scares me? Maybe. I don't think you understand. Nothing gets in between me and ice cream. Now where is it? It's in the fire station. Where? I looked in the fridge. I didn't see any fucking ice cream. Because ice cream doesn't go in the fridge. Alright, smartass. Refrigerator. It doesn't go in the refrigerator either. <sighs> Freezer! There you go. So is there some sort of, like, secret freezer somewhere that I don't know about that you're using to hide shit in? No. It's just buried in the back of the freezer, so nobody can easily find it. Well, I'm gonna go find it. Hey! Don't touch my ice cream! My ice cream! Mine, 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 mine. Mine, 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 no, 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 If you value... I in the corner, you can't get my ice cream. If you value your life, Gage, you're gonna share it. No, 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 no. My ice cream. I want it. Gage? Do you like mint chip? Do you like mint chocolate chip ice cream? It's ice cream. I like any ice cream. I don't think my I understand the effect that ice cream has on a girl. You can't you can't have all of the ice cream, but I will share with you. I don't want all the ice cream, I just want most of it. You can't have most of it either. Fine. Almost all all but I will sh No, that's that's like saying most of it, just in different words. Half of it? I don't know. I like ice cream. Well, 
so do I. I will share with you. I'm a nice person, and I share with others. I'm always sharing stuff. Most of the snacks here are because I go and buy them. But I don't eat them. No, but they're there for people to use. Eat. It's not my fault if you don't like them. And our volunteer firefighter Scott's been doing a really good job. His first day here, he took an apartment card and went and bought a couple gallons of chocolate milk and brought it back to the station. So far, he's my favorite. Oh, so he uses the department card. I use my own money. You give me the department card, and I'll and I'll go get anything you want. The department card's on the desk downstairs. Yeah, it but just sits there for anyone to use. I, because it's mainly there for fuel and chocolate milk. Just because you believe that chocolate milk is fuel doesn't make. What the fuck is that noise? That's a truck. And I think I saw that same car again. Oh, at the orange one. Yeah, it just. Yeah, she just kind of drove off road or. I think that's the blonde. Yeah, no, that's definitely her car. I'll talk to her. She drove off road. That's enough reason for me to talk to her. Have some ice cream. I'll be back. All right. Favorite, but ice cream is ice cream. Panorama Drive, Alhambra Drive, it's going to be an orange two-door muscle car, occupied time is one, no additionals. Oh, six back tonight.
You put it back in the dreaser there? Oh yeah. It's like the freezer, but it's dreasy. So. Damn, that makes some killer ice cream. So. Is what Katie says true? Um. That you got yourself a college girl? That's a that's a tough one to answer. So. Um. I was I was I remember I was telling you how I met her. Um, I met her on a call. I just helped her out from a coyote attack and took her to Sandy Shores hospital to get checked out. Um, a few later, came to the station, gifted me with a uh, little stylus um, with my name engraved on it and her phone number in the box as well, which I completely forgot that I had that, uh, the, the phone number. So a girl, a college girl gives you her phone number and you do nothing with it? Yeah, and I forget about it, pretty much. Um, I've gone on to seen her a couple patrols as cop, and I think I may have, I don't know if I saw her a couple other times, but then yesterday when I was, uh, yesterday when I was on duty at Station 1, um, I, had a res I responded to a fire alarm at Life Invader, which is where she works, and I talked to her again, and then, um, not much happened there, and then I had to respond to the college for uh, somebody. Had, somebody was knocked out and unconscious, and she was there again and knocked the shit out of this dude and knocked him out, which I was kind of proud of her for doing that. And why was she knocking someone she, out? Uh, because this dude um, grabbed her and wouldn't let go. All right, that's a valid reason. Yeah, and so I told her good job, and she was kind of flirting with me and hitting on me, and Katie noticed it, and I was kind of like, yeah, not much I can do. I'm on duty as a police officer, or a firefighter, excuse me. Okay, and what about when you're not on duty? Um... Well, uh, a couple days ago when I was off duty, I did try to go to Life Invader to see if she was there and talk to her. And how did that go? I guess that's a... She wasn't there. I was there too late. <sighs> what is it with you firefighters? I think a firefighter too. Yeah, but Joe was also fucking oblivious to my advances. I literally had to force force him to realize it. I mean, for me on duty, there's not much I can do because we have to maintain professionalism and we can't just break that and start flirting with chicks on duty. Off duty, I can pretty much do whatever the fuck I want, but I mean... You don't need to two jobs, I barely get time off. You don't need to flirt with him while on duty, just make arrangements for a date or something. Like, hey, like, would you like to go out sometime? And if she says yes, then there you go. I'm not telling you to lay her down and start doing it right then and there in your uniform. I mean, I could. I figured out how to lay that last girl down. Oi, oi, oi. Gage, sometimes I worry about you. I think everyone does. Well, I should probably do something about this girl before she decides to move on. Because I'm assuming she's... If she's in college, she's probably young. From what Katie said, she's kind of cute. So you should probably do something about that before someone else gets her attention.
and she works at Life Invader, which basically means, like, she is really smart. Yeah. So you must be doing something right to get her attention. I mean, probably just wear the uniform good. I'm sure the uniform helps. I don't know. I'm just kind of everywhere trying to figure a million things out and just this one thing that everyone's talking to me about. I'm like, well, I really don't know what I want to do. Well, I mean, you're a nice guy, Gage. You deserve to find someone, you know, to have a little bit of fun with. You're still young. You're good looking. I mean, you have your quirks. But like, I quirks. like I said, you're a good guy. Welcome back! What the heck? Oh, it's Joe! Did he just break everything to CFL get here? 1015 with a two no, he opened the gate! Car. Stinger Road 8801, no additional requests. Hey! What the hell's going on? Oh, um, yeah, I didn't. I was talking to Gage about something else. Um, yeah, about the last text I sent you. Well, you know who Casper Kane yeah. is, right? Yep. Well, I've been kind of dealing with him on and off. Well, I mean, yeah, you should know. He's the guy who came to the, to the station looking for me, like, a few weeks ago. Uh. The guy with the grenade? Yeah. Yeah, so he's the guy that I've been dealing with since back when I was a corporal. Because I helped save Amanda. Uh, Amanda Rifle. And I'm the one who picked up the phone. Right. And he, he's, he's had me on his radar since. Mm. And then there was that uh, altercation at the station. And there's a few times where I helped save like an individual. Although there was that, that one girl that we lost the other day that I wasn't able to save. But I was basically at the uh, Panorama gas station fueling up, and um, so this, I was talking to this guy who, I don't know what the hell happened to him, but he got up, pushed me, and assaulted me, uh, so I basically drop-kicked the fucker. Uh... Yeah, so I took care of him, and as I was basically getting my med kit to, you know, I'm still a medic, so I still had to take care of him, Casper Kane kind of rolls up, and I was about to try and get back into my truck for protection, but he got his grenade out, obviously, as he normally does, and said, don't yeah. run away. He just wa I, he just wanted to talk with me. And he was basically saying that he was going to come get me. Um, maybe not today, mm. but soon. And he said that he would have me in one of his stupid contraptions, and that basically he was going to play a game, like he always does. Eh, okay. Well, if he's giving you a warning, you gotta mess him up before he gets to you. Yeah. You told DPS? Um, well, I told Gage, and I told the captain when he rolled up about it. But, okay. you know how telling DPS these kind of things have worked out for me in the past. <laughs> yeah. Thing is, he always has that stupid grenade, so I'm not really sure like how to deal with this guy. If you're on his DPS, just hit the grenade and call it a day. Like, if he can be taken out before he takes the grenade, or from a distance when no one is in range of his grenade.
or we just call his bluff and see if it's an actual grenade. Of... Yeah, I might be calling a bluff. The uh, lethal distance of a standard hand grenade is only five meters. Yeah, because after that it's... Fifteen feet. After that it's like shockwave, meters. right? Forty meters. Now, the shockwave won't kill on a grenade. It's too, the explosive charge is too small. So, within five meters, which is only... Basically, where I'm standing to the stairwell. That's guaranteed lethal. And then, from the corner to the wall... Is... The serious injury radius of a hand grenade. Okay. And then anywhere in between that point and no. the guaranteed lethal radius, uh, depending on placement of the shrapnel from the grenade, could be lethal or serious injury or minor injury. Alright. Um, hey, can I help you? What's up, guys? Hey. Blood! Kind of swing it in, make sure everything's good. Yeah. Trying to kill people. And I was just uh, telling Joe about my encounter with Mr. Kane. Oh uh, yeah, I ran into him earlier with Gage. Yeah, he told me about that. He was like, "Yeah, I just uh, I just had an encounter with your uh, some officers," and he was kind of proud of the fact he keeps using his stupid fucking hand grenade. I don't think it's real. Yeah. I'm gonna blow it out of his hand. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, frost. I want to yeah. tell you, I want to run a road by you real quick. Nah. <laughs> Ow, fuck you. Um, you know how he was holding the hand grenade? And you said yeah. it didn't have a pin in it, only just a spoon. Well, Rudo made this. He was able to get on his bike and drive away without it exploding. He would have to let go of the hand grenade. Thus activating it and it blowing in five seconds. So, Good point. I don't think it's real at all. Unless the spoons glued to the body or taped to the body. Yeah, a lot of people tape them. Or you put the pin back in. I don't know. I didn't see shit. I just watched him get on the bike and drive away. Yeah. Alright, I'm in it up. Yeah, thanks for sharing. You're so Oh, motherfucker. What do you do? I don't know. This this doesn't work that well, motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck? I need help. What'd you do? It's we a poster. A we don't <laughs> We don't have a sink. I can't wash out my bowl. Oh, we have a dishwasher in, in one of these. Yeah, it's right here, dishwasher. Just open it up and put it in. Oh shit! I'm, I'm. I did yeah, not know we had this here. Yeah, no, it's it's disguised to look like the counters, just so it, it looks like clean. So but no, it's there. To keep people like me out of it. Cool. What? Where do you go?
so the only thing that I can think of is that if he ever comes to me, because from what I understand, he doesn't have a gun. He only has that stupid grenade. Yeah. So if he actually comes at me and tries to, you know, take me, all I have to do is run away from him, right? Like, he can't do anything with the grenade if I'm not in range. Or they can throw it. I guess. I'm just, just kind of trying to figure out how can I defend myself against this guy. Uh, keep your distance. All is blah. I need to have a word with Brian because I know he's he's the one who's the main investigator. Well, they spend like really tracking the guy down. Maybe we should work with mm -hmm. him and try to try to find this guy and put a put a stop to him. Because it, I don't want him out of the picture. Oh well, yeah, he needs to be stopped. I mean, you know what? I'm, I'm more worried about other people than myself. Because at this, did you, did you hear that he took Robert's fiance? What? Yeah. Um. What's her name? Kaylee, the one who's pregnant with twins. The fuck. Yeah, he he took her from him directly. I guess um, I think from the description he because I was I was talking with him the other day. The description he gave me of the other person that was with Casper was um, it's it sounded like the same girl who shot me a, like a few weeks ago. Uh, what's what did Sarah Stay call her? Miss Mrs. Savage or something? Yeah. So I guess they were cornered, and he had his grenade as always, and she had a gun. And there was nothing that he could do to stop her, or stop them from taking her. Okay. Well, he, I'm he had to a... state. Yeah, I don't really know if that'll help. That's, that's it. That settles that. I mean, I moved across the country, and that didn't really help me. Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving San Andreas. You're coming with me. Going all the way. I mean, I'm sure the Pinks themselves want this guy stopped because of what he did to Amanda and of what he's of what he's doing to women. So I'm sure they can put some resources into finding this fuck. One hundred percent. Yeah, according. According to him, though, he's not coming after me today, so... But then again, I'm not really sure how... Today? Not really sure how much trust you can put on that, you know, crazy ass's word. Ugh. Just need to end it. Yeah. I'm getting sick and tired of this shit. <laughs> I broke the station. 
Huh? What did you do? I broke it. It's having a baby! C12, 1015, Panorama Drive at 8811 on a two door black muscle car. No additional requested. How are you ripping the rebarb out of the wall?